Hey guys, Nintendo Capri Sun here, and welcome back to Castle in the Darkness. I believe we have a finale on our hands here. So real quick, I just wanted to show you something I missed here in the cave. You know how I was talking about that treasure chest I never picked up? Well, sure enough, it's in this room here. So I'm just gonna run pick this up real quick. All it is is money, doesn't matter. On a quick note here, guys, I do apologize about this, but I apparently the last sword that I never got, I forgot to record myself getting it. You have to jump down here and go through this wall, and it's on the other side. You have to. There's some fancy jumps to make here, so you just have to hold the jump button as you land on it, and then you get a second jump. And as long as you keep the jump button down, when you hit the next block, you'll get another second jump, and you can just keep going right across. Of course, you'll have to die to get back out, but, well... Well, there might be a way to get out of it without dying. I don't know, but... <laughs> but at this point, I guess I could show the sword, so... Yeah. It's a really short-length sword. Like, there's no range on it at all. It's like the same range as the first sword that you start the game with. But it has an attack power of 10. So, and you can get it relatively early. So it could be useful in certain situations, I would imagine, but unfortunately, we're not going to get to see that, so oh well. Big deal. But that's where the sword was that I missed, so just so you know. Now back to whatever we were doing before. Oh! Okay, so here's the cabin. Let's see what awaits us in here. I shudder to think. Hmm. It's roomy! Yeah, I can already see what I need to do here. Just have to go. Well, lucky thing we got a place right next door to change our weapons, so we don't have to worry about that. So, how's everybody doing today? Uh, this is April 21st today I'm recording this. But, but my god, this LP turned out to be a lot longer than I thought. I mean, 30 parts isn't even really that long, but for a game like this... It's pretty long. It was longer than I thought it would be. So there. Hello? Shit. That guy kind of hurts. Oh, well. There are things that hurt more, apparently. My god. Let me try that one more time. What is this, like the next... Is this like Torture Chambers Part 2? I think maybe. Oh, there, there was actually... <clears throat> there was something I missed in the torture chambers, believe it or not. And I, I actually... I don't know how to tell you guys this, but... Shit, I'm not going to show that. Never mind. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, this looks promising. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. Jeez. Dark armor? Okay. That's the last armor in the game. I already know it's not as good as the Dream Mail, but... Because I saw it on a screenshot, but... It's, it's okay. Oh, boy. You really have to take damage from that guy, don't you? So you can't take damage from anything else on the way out or in. It's whatever, we got it. So let's check it out. Equip. Hmm. Yep. I'll put it on just for the hell of it, you know, because, you know, we haven't seen it before. I don't know if there's any kind of hidden effects that it might have. Like maybe your magic charge is faster or something. I also wanted to show you this. If you actually equip the very first sword... Wait a minute. Got the wrong armor on. Let me actually... Okay, here we go. Equip the green tunic and the first sword from the game, the guard sword. And I actually, somebody told me about this in the game, but I didn't decipher. For some reason, I didn't pick up on what they were saying. But yeah, you equip the green tunic and your first sword, and you can actually shoot sword lasers. It only works when you're at full health, so... But yeah, that's pretty nice. Of course, once you take damage, then you don't have it anymore. <laughs> Still, though, it is a nice thing to have. 
If I'd known about this earlier, I might have been able to actually make some use of it, I don't know. Oh, what? That bullet came from, like... Dear God, man. I guess I'm just not gonna get to show this off, am I? I mean, you have to have full life to use it. Oh well. Okay, so we're back here at the clock tower now. And from here is where you can jump off to that building with the three keys on it. Look at that, it's open now. How about that? Those Matt's keys that I found? I am Madcap, thanks for playing this game. You're welcome. Thanks for making it, actually. <laughs> so apparently there's like some kind of stats over his head. Uh, it looks like 3359. I guess that's how many bosses you killed and how many treasure chests you've opened. Okay, so at last we're now going to take on the final boss with 100% completion. It's hard to believe we're here. So I guess in a way we will get to see a final boss fight. We'll get to see this one again. Yeah, but you've already seen this, so... So I'm actually gonna take off my sweater here because it's a little warm. Okay. We're good. It's my father's pendant. That must mean that he's alive. Please save him. Okay, that's different. Yeah? Can I still, like... Console you. Yeah, I can. Oh, all right. Okay, so what's gonna? Did she just walk in on top? Of... Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, that's him. Her father is the final boss. Oh, dude. Oh, crap. Um, should I be attacking him? I probably shouldn't if it's him. Besides, it looks like the orb is actually... Like, well, didn't she say something about the orb it removes evil from a person? That's what it looks like it's doing. Yeah. Jeez, what would have happened if I had attacked him, I wonder? What misery have I wrought? <laughs> Don't worry, dude. You didn't know you were doing it, apparently, so... I guess that just gets you off the hook then, doesn't it? What's going on here? What the fuck?! I didn't know Nebiroth was in this game! Or Neviroth? Shoot, what is that guy's name? It's Nebiroth, isn't it? So it kind of looks like him. Oh crap. Um. What? Tornadies? What is this, Airman? I can't beat Airman. Uh. Okay, so different colors do different attacks. What am I supposed to hit? Oh, jeez. Um, okay. Looks like maybe when his horn is lit up. Okay, yeah, just keep doing that blue attack. That one's easy. Boom! That's it! Pretty sure- oh god, red. Oh, okay. That wasn't- oh, I waited too long, why did I do that? Purple. Oh! Jeez. Just barely missed me on that one. No, oh, this is not doing much- well, how many times have I actually hit him though is the thing. Still only just gotten that first bar off. This red fireball has really got to go. Jeez, still only one bar off of his health. This could be a long fight. I, <laughs> I'm almost tempted to just... Well... Let's wait it out a little bit longer and see what other... To, you know, if any, what other attacks he has. Still, I'm only he's only missing one bar. Ooh. Oh, I see how to dodge that red one now. If I just stay down close to his feet, it should go over my head. Wait, here. 
Yeah, see there? That works. Okay. Another bar has disappeared from his life. Unbelie impossible as it may seem. But I wish I could so bad, baby. Quit playing games with my heart. Crap. Yeah, he had me there. This part of me almost wants to just die on purpose and get a different spell. So I'm thinking maybe try that, uh... Whatever it's called, the X spell. The X sword. Let's see if the beam that fires it off. God, I still can't believe freaking Nebiroth is in this game. I mean, that's not Nebiroth, man. I don't know who that is, but he's not Nebiroth. It's more like Santa Claus. <laughs> yeah. This is gonna take forever if I keep doing this. So, let's just... Kamikaze or something. I don't even know. It's all good. It's all good. We'll come back with a different spell. Oh! Okay, we're back. I'm gonna do this again. Eternal Darkness. That's a different game, sir. Sorry to say. As you can see, I have my green... Er, my dream mail... Shit. My dream mail equipped. Okay, that definitely... Well, everything takes off the first life bar, so we don't know for sure yet. Alright. So far, not good, but... Keep trying. Ah, oh, okay, so the tornadoes push you up. Oh, and there's spikes up there, too. Holy crap. Gotta watch out for that. Don't want to be getting thrown up into the spikes. That's an evil way to die right there. <laughs> Okay, yeah, this definitely is doing better than the other thing, so... I think we're going through with this, guys. <laughs> so there really it was gonna be a final boss that we got to see, that's good. I was all worried about fighting the same final boss as before and trying to pass that off as a... as an interesting finale, but no. We got ourselves a real, actual final boss here. Ugh! Can't get away from that in time. You know, the Dream Mail says that it's 7 defense, which doesn't seem like it that much more than 6. But when I look at how much damage I take, it's, uh, the difference with the Dream Mail seems a lot bigger than whatever 7 divided by 6 is. What percentage that is. Which I can already tell you, it's like 100 and... Well, shit, I don't know. Can't even pretend to know. I want to say it's like 118.33333 or something like that. It's just something stupid. Oh, here come the tornadoes again. Man, I don't know what... Oh, I know, this is also going in slow motion. I didn't mention that. There's something on the board. You know, they, they, I remember seeing a post on the board saying, is the final boss fight supposed to be in slow motion? And people were saying, well, no, it isn't, and I thought, you know, I thought that the wizard was the final boss, so when I saw the mine wasn't going in slow motion, I thought, okay, well, it must be because my computer's really good. Dude, I can deflect those. I can deflect the red one. But yeah, apparently they were talking about this fight, I guess, when they said, when they were asking if it was supposed to go in slow motion, because mine is, because it is going in slow motion on this one. I'm not sure why, everything else seemed to process just fine, but it's weird that though this fight, because there's not that much going on here, I mean, I wonder if I could grab some more hits with that sword though, that's what I'm thinking. I might try to get in there and get some, but I want to be careful, I don't want to go being stupid taking unnecessary risks for the sake of making progress faster. So I guess we beat this guy, we get to see the real ending. That's cool. That'll be cool, that'll be something to motivate us. And tornadoes. Nope. No sir. I will not be impaled on those spikes. How much do you want to bet when you beat him, some of those spikes fall? 
Maybe they all fall and you have to be standing under the thing. That would just be like the ultimate dick move. That wouldn't even be that much of a dick move. I mean, it's like... Ugh. I mean, you would expect him to have a fail-safe, right? You know, the whole, if I go down, I'm taking you with me thing? How many times have we heard that? From villains and good guys alike. This is actually really easy because it's going in slow motion. Because I wouldn't be responding to that red glow in time <laughs> if not for the slow motion. Trying to see if I can charge and get a second hit on him. But it doesn't look like it. And yeah, I should probably start going in for those thrusts again. I don't know, man. I'm not saying much here. <laughs> Just trying to concentrate. I don't want to lose here. Come this far, man. You can't let it all go for nothing now. Oh, yeah. Oop, shit. See, that's what I'm talking about. You take risks like that sometimes you pay the price. Yeah, avoid it at that time. There does seem to be a very specific timing to this, because that fireball was in like the exact same spot. Both times. Okay. Yeah, we got this. I don't think this is gonna do it, but it's gonna bring it pretty close. <laughs> yeah, I'm not well, I don't know, should I? Oh, he's still not dead. I was gonna say, maybe I'll just will not charge on my spell. I just want to hit him with my sword. I want the last hit to come from my sword, man. Ugh! <laughs> Look at his face. That's all I got. He's like, oh, for I've seen better days, man. You win, I lose. Jeez, it kind of felt like we were underground there. Didn't we fall to that fight? Oh, boy. Saved by the owl again. With the king brought to safety, Isabel returned to the castle and saved the hero's life within a split second of his demise. Well, that was a little too close. So we saved the king, yay! Now I don't have to feel so bad about, you know, making him whoopee. I'll have that limp guilt. Or guilt limp. Or whatever. Now, you know what? Stop trying to diagnose your sexual problems, boy. There's no need for it. I assume the credits are all the same. We'll just see 100% at the end. So yay! Mega props to Madcap on this game, though, I must say. To think that one person did all this, that's pretty... pretty impressive, considering, you know, the level of thought that was put into the design. I mean... Shoot, man. I don't even know what to say. It's like, when you go back and start a game back from the beginning, you can definitely feel the difference between how powerful you are then and how powerful you are at the end of the game, so... There's definitely a sense of growth. Very much so. David Angel 64 That just sounds like a YouTube name. You know? Uh, maybe it is, I don't know. <laughs> Just to go look it up. I guess that's one way to get noticed, though. Congratulations! You completed with 100%! That's what I'm talking about. We did it, guys. We 100% Whoa! What? More secrets and- oh, oh my god. Uh, this LP has gone on long enough, I think. New Game Plus sounds fabulous, don't get me wrong, it totally does. But I'm, you know, I got it in my head that I was done. You know, so that has to be what it is now. Either way, thanks everybody so much for watching.
yeah, I guess I'll, I'll probably see you on the next game, whether it's Jackal or Illusion of Gaia or whatever else is on my list over there. So, anyway, yeah, so that's all. So why am I still sitting here? See you guys later.